the return from regional stream man i had, I had such a good time at regionals chat <laughs> I, re I really did it was it was it was like almost the polar opposite of ycs charlotte at ycs charlotte i had such a good time um just seeing people and not playing at all and at the event it was it was the opposite I, i'm not saying i didn't what's it called did i see any yugi tubers nah and in, in, in south in south carolina i'm looking extra ball today what do you mean all i did was shit like i told you chat i told you i mean i was gonna go back to shaving eventually chat for thursdays the only reason i didn't shave for the last two streams is because i had something specifically to do over the weekend and it was imperative that i look my best on saturday um but like since i'm just gonna be streaming again on saturday like i'm gonna i'm gonna shave obviously so i look good on on thursday cap liking the game uh during one of the worst formats in a while i don't know i think it's because of what i play format actually ain't as bad as i thought it was chat i mean sure everything that i said before about like decks having no identity was is like a hundred percent true but i i guess i like all this stuff that everyone's complaining about scythe break like those those just don't affect me like at all <laughs> maybe it's because i'm just playing eldritch like <laughs> i got scythe twice at the event chat i had multiple games of my opponent having an omni negate uh in one case they had two omni negates plus dpe plus scythe and i like still won <laughs> i had a phantom knight guy he had like double fall blade plus scythe plus an omni negate like cool and i, I just like still won <laughs> oh my goodness uh i find it boring yeah i'm not saying it's the most entertaining format but i had i had so much fun at the regionals i i feel like chat and i don't want to say this as sour grapes i like 100 percent should have top chat and i mean top aided uh my one loss was to freaking invoked and in game two, where I lost, because in game three, I just bricked, and it was terrible brick. Like, oh my, it won, probably my worst hand of the day. Um, but in game two, uh, I had, he has, he has the invoke monster chat that when you summon it, it blows a card up. Um, I, I don't know, the one that's like a light fairy or whatever. And he has nothing in his graveyard, and I know his hand is double Alistair. So he popped my Lord on summon, which I summoned from Sanguine. Uh, Algoides. Algoides. Okay. Yeah, he has that one, chat. And I had used Sanguine earlier in the turn, and I had Golden Land Forever set and an Ice Dragon's Prison set with an IDP in hand. Here was the problem, chat. Um, he blows up my guy, he blows up my Golden Lord, and goes to battle. And I know he has, I think I have 3,800, and he has double Alistair. So, like, I'm like, oh shit, he can attack for 4K. I didn't realize, chat. That like the ghost girls were freaking zombie because i'm locked in the, the whole focus chat is like oh well i already used sanguine i'm locked into zombies he's just gonna kill me right bro he had two bells and an ash in the graveyard chat he had two bells and an ash in the graveyard i could have stopped the attack by just idping a ghost girl um and then my graveyard was completely stacked so next turn i just revive lord uh, I don't think I would have attacked because he would have used double Alistair and that would have put me in like a peculiar situation, but I would have just set Conk from my um from my deck. I would have still had like another, uh, I probably would have given up IDP to, re to Revive Lord, but I would have had my draw phase. I would have had, um I would have instantly popped this guy in draw phase chat. He was out of Macabas, so like his invoked engine was like kind of dead. And I still had go. I would have had Golden Land forever for his Alistair summon. So like, I don't see how he would have won unless his top deck was just nuts. But I still had a top deck too. Um, we'll get him next. No, don't say that. Because when you say we'll get him next time, Copium, that makes it sound like I did terrible. Like, don't, don't, please don't say that, Zesty. You say that to people who go like X four or some shit like that. That's what you say to BP after after the YCS. Um, and I, I like to stress this chat. I went 6-1-1 one, one in duels that I played, even though I went 6-2-1 overall. And uh, no, I did not oversleep, chat. Do you guys want to know why I got a round one loss? Uh, go format, please. Yeah, maybe next stream. Or if you donate, I'll play some go format. But I'm not just going to play go format to play it. Um, the reason why, chat, I got a round one loss 
is because we got to the venue at like 945 but they ended registration at 930 which I thought was like I thought was whack chat uh you weren't ready <laughs> no I didn't I also didn't know that so this was hosted chat by the same people who hosted YCS I was told because of Jabril that you didn't have to wear a mask and you didn't have to be vaccinated for regionals but no apparently you still have to wear masks so like I brought mask anyways but like I didn't know we still had to wear masks I thought that was just like the YCS so trusting J yeah you can't trust Jabril chat um Jib stopped you from topping uh Jib pre-registered when he woke up I should have pre-registered chat like that that was on me so yeah I started the day with a loss which meant that I had to like basically went out from jump and um I lost one single game but uh I 2-0'd almost everyone what's it called did I yeah I, I got a draw Dark Emperor you guys want to know what deck I drew with chat and I'm not gonna lie this is the only person who I think that I dueled against who was who like I'm not gonna say he was better than me but I think he like I was actually lucky to get the this is why I'm not like super sweating it I think I was lucky to get the draw like the way the game was playing out he was he was gonna beat me he was the only person that like got definitively a mutant no 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 not mutant uh just use your shirt as a mask I mean I'm kind of wearing this shirt uh dumbest rule ever uh the deck was brave or adventurer plunder patrol chat I told BP this the other day that deck's kind of real chat like I know that that doesn't sound like the greatest combination it's like wait cat why would you play adventurer plunder over like prank kid adventure or over phantom knight brave or but like I don't know man like that that deck was that deck was like kind of real chat I had I had like rivalry and it <laughs> didn't do anything against them <laughs> it's like all his monsters are, are fiends and then I have like goes and match and he's just he just is like uh one big ship and I can't kill it <laughs> I'm like oh my god I'm like bro this deck is actually like putting the clamps on me uh so in games three in game three like he was gonna take control over the duel and then I like summon lord in, in defense mode I was like bro I, I need to play the clock now and uh right when he was probably 20 seconds before battle phase they were like freeze play and I was like oh thank god <laughs> He's gonna beat me. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> the synchro ship banishes background. Yeah, well what was difficult was he got the freaking purple sailboat out, chat list, and it, it, it would negate my lord for being summoned from the graveyard. So it was like it was really hard to like mount him, if that makes sense. Um decks that can beat Eldritch chat are decks that can like either banish lord which is not a lot of decks uh really just branded can do that or you can like stop lord from being summoned from the graveyard you know what i mean and that the plunder monsters can get big like they can all get to like 35 plus so it's not just a given that lord's just gonna run everything over but overall chat i was i was pleased to say every single deck that i played against just like auto lost the skill drain which was like surprising i didn't play against any prank kid um you know hold on, i'm gonna type up my uh i'll type my matchup sub chat let's get the music rolling and actually like start the stream um plunder patrol is only played by white people i think he was i think he was like some type of latino zesty like he didn't he didn't strike me as just some plain jane white guy all right my computer is a little far back okay i'll get you guys on matchups type it up pojo style um I shot a deck profile chat, but I like I don't know if I want to upload it. Um, and now that it's like basically Friday, I'm like maybe I should just upload it next Tuesday or something. Like I don't know, cause I, I mean I didn't top, and and we do not consider chat. Don't any of you guys dare be like, yeah, you got an invite, like bro, that's not a top. Stop. <laughs> it's either top eight or nothing. Like I don't, don't want to hear about like what's I got twenty fifth. Let's go to. Why am I not signed into Docs? Okay, I'm just gonna type in. Let's just go to what's it called? 4K deck profiles. Nice. Nah, it's, it's pretty shit. Nah, we, we're not. <laughs> we're not at the period chat where um, we're not at the period where we. I have the microphone or any of that. Like I'm shooting in 4K. All right, let's go this. So these were my matchups. Bye. Uh, lost. Um, next I play Sky Striker. Uh, that was a 2-0 clap. Uh, skill Drain both games just 
that deck is bad, chat. Like, I don't know. I think I saw it on Grinder's channel over like the last couple of days, but like I I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> like, Jesus, chat. Last point. Like, I get I get that there's no Imperial Order, but like the matchup with just, just skill drain, you just flip it over and just win. Just beat their entire deck. Goes and match. Beat your entire deck. Robbery Warlords, beat your entire You get any floodgate, you just beat this entire deck. What's buy? Uh, no, buy is like how they actually qualified it. Like it it buy means buy means like um Dark Emperor. Usually buy means a win. Cause it means like, oh, there was 501 players, so they can't pair you up against someone. So you get an instant win. But like for me it was a loss. So like alright. I played Sky Striker after that. Um, I play based. Uh, two oh this guy as well. Um, Should have been a disqualif. Why would I get a disqualification for showing up late, Atenza? That's stupid. Uh, I played the base deck and beat him. Twitch chat. I'm gonna describe. I'm gonna describe the opening, and you guys tell me who wins. Even though I, you guys already know who won. Who won? My opponent is playing based. He opens Baron the Floor, Herald of the Arc Light, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and also Sipes Me. Who wins that duel, Twitch chat? Who wins? Who wins? Who wins? Big brain chat. Who actually? And he has Ash. He has Ash in hand, chat. He has Ash in hand. Who wins the duel? <laughs> the answer might surprise you. The answer might surprise you. Bro, like these cards just don't do anything to my deck. The way that I won, your opponent won? Nah, we told him. Um, Lava Golem. No, it was game one. I don't have Lava Golem. The way, the way that I won was I activated Extravagance as my first move. He ashed it. I was like, okay, cool. Um, I went Extrav for six because you always go six. So then I went Prosperity for six. And he didn't negate it, chat. Would you guys have negated my Prosperity? Because I talked about this to Jabril, and I said 100% you should negate the, the prosperity, and he did not. He let it resolve, and you know what I got from it, chat? Goes and match. <laughs> I got goes and match. So I was like, all right, full combo, set five. <laughs> and draw face, I was like, punishment, target your uh, Herald of the Arc Light. So he asked, and I, I have a net that's still in my extra deck chats because I, I picked the, the, the next three. What's it called? Thank you for the what's it called. Did you not actually take a what's it called? Uh, thank you very much, Lord Bakura. You know, Lord Bakura, is it me? Or does Lord Bakura talk so much junk for someone who won four duels at the YCS? Like, my man talks like he is just super accomplished. And I believe he has... Uh, What's it called? Bakura so chuggy. Exactly. Uh, thank you very much, Lord Bakura. I appreciate that support a lot. Thank you for um, the Twitch resubscription. 42 months in a row. That is... Mm, I feel like that's actually divisible by 12, like, exactly even. Maybe not. Millennium Ego. You mean... Uh, millennial Ego. You mean me or him? Bak Bakura just... He, he has this facade that he's like so accomplished and i'm like don't you literally have no accomplishments three and a half years that's what i thought three and a half years of grown ass modliness i appreciate that a lot bakura thank you for the support um did you actually not take an l this time grandpa uh still had a better record than you my man good this no you didn't no you didn't that's the th oh my god i'm sorry i i have to stop the story Chat, is this or is this not annoying? When someone who like super scrubs acts like they did better than you despite the fact that they scrubbed, it's like, bro, you went like three and five. You're not better than me because I went two and seven or something. Like you still scrubbed. You, It's not even like you didn't top. You weren't close to topping. So this whole like, well, I went three and five and you went two and seven. Like, stop. You either top or you don't top. Now, I, I believe that, like, you can feel good if you bubble an event chat, like what I did. But, like, if you didn't bubble or top, like, don't don't talk. Because the only, and I've told Big Pimpin' this, the only players who do that are, like, bad players. And those are the players that, at every event, I just roll my eyes at. I'm like, that player is so cringe. Like, no one wants to hear about how you lost four times in a row to, like, games you should have won. Like, no, you're just bad. 
Um, if you lose like one game, it's fine. But like you don't the, the the better player doesn't lose four times in a row, chat. Like you don't that, that doesn't happen. But anyways, Lord Bakura, Cat, we all know I'm garbage. I know, but it's like I don't have the facade of being some great player ever uh, either. So like I have to be honest, it's it's kind of triggering that you're trying to lob this. Like I get it, you're you're bad, but I'm also a Yugi tuber, dude. I'm not expected to be like good. So I don't get why you keep bringing it up. Like I'm pack or something. If I was pack, okay, that's fine. But like I'm not expected to top every event. So like I don't get why you keep making a big deal that I don't top like a certain event. It's like, dude, I'm a fucking Yugi tuber. I'm not expected to like top any events. So um, here's how I actually won. Uh, Ghost Bakura. I don't know, but Bakura shows up and it instantly like triggers me eight minutes into the stream. Thanks, Bakura. Some of you, I, I swear to goodness, some of you guys in Twitch chat, do you only show up here to try to annoy me, chat? Be honest. Are you guys like Satchim Juniors? Do you only show up here to just try to annoy me? Cap is Black Hoban. Yes. Cap is just Black Patrick Hoban. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, Lion King. Wow, that's a name I never see. Uh, thank you for the donation, Lion King Jim. Uh, I appreciate that. Cap is just Black Hoban. I mean, I don't know. Jip says that Hoban's maybe washed now. Um, didn't you top eight once? I've top dated like five times. I just haven't top dated in a long time. Although, I think, I think the regionals was a very good... If I... I'm not saying this to be copium chat. If I didn't start the the tournament off 01, and I don't mean 01 because I just like got clapped by my first opponent. I mean like I didn't even get to play. Um and literally didn't get to play. Not like, oh they scythe locked me. I couldn't play. Wah, wah, wah. Like I didn't even play. If I didn't start off with that L, I 100 percent would have topped. Cause like it's not like I even got close to getting 2 0, Chad. They're just, I don't know. The, the players that I played against, like, I didn't really think any of them were, like, that good. You know what I mean? But, anyways, um, I think I told you guys I broke this guy's board, right? I go punishment and draw phase, targeting Herald of the Arc Light. He chains Herald of the Arc Light. I go chain link three, goes in match. He goes chain link four, um, uh, Baron to floor. I go chain link five, skill drain, chat. Clap, 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 clap. Like, it, it it really do be like that. For I don't know if any of you guys say, oh, Cap, you open with the God Hand, blah, 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 blah. Bro, every card that I activated, I played three of. I also resolved an extra, uh, a, a Prosperity for six. Like, I'm gonna get a hand like that. That's why you should have negated the Prosperity. But, like, yeah, I went Runner, like, trap, trap, trap. He couldn't negate. DPE gets locked out. Um, skill Drain negates his Baron to floor. He's locked in the win. He attacks. I go uh, Sanguine. Just win the game. My GG. Uh, Cap, are you going to put down Golden Lord when Dino Morphia comes out? Like, nah. Uh-uh. Until, so, what's it? Jib told me to play Dino Morphia. But, like, so there's two reasons that I won't chat. Uh, one, and I'll talk about this extensively later. I already, like, started the process of doing something, chat, that I said I would never do. If any of you guys can guess that, more power to you. And second... There's just, like, I'm pretty sure, even though Dino Morphia can set up a skill drain boss monster, why not just play skill drain, chat? Like, <laughs> until there's another deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! that just flips over floodgates and wins the game, I guess Dino Morphia does that in a, I guess you could say in a more consistent way. Like, why give up Eldritch, bro? Like, why, why just give up skill drain? Oh, you just auto-lose? Cool. Like, do you guys understand how many games? This felt very reminiscent of that regional that I topped with uh, TG Stun. It was just like Dozen Match game, robbery game. Like it really was it really was just that easy, chat. Brain dead Oh no no no. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying Eldritch is not a brain dead deck. But for everyone who just thought, oh Draco back makes floodgates unplayable. Like okay you really should have watched my matches. Like yeah you can make your shitty board. Like cool. Like robbery strike. You just don't get to play the game anymore. And I win. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just, it just be, play con, no, because these are the combo decks that I beat. <laughs> like, the combo, why I, I won't play combo chat is, if you make Baron de Floor, Herald of the Arc, Arc Light, Scythe, and DPE, should you or should you not win the duel, Twitch chat? Are you supposed to win the duel or not? You guys tell me. 
If, if that is your opening, which is supposed to be auto win, and then you proceed to get fucking 2 owed, I don't know, man. Maybe your combo, maybe there's a problem with your combo deck. Because I, I fucking 2 owed the guy. After getting Scythe locked, he had DPE and double Omni Negate. And I still won. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like maybe, you know, Ooga Booga might be better, chat. I mean, we, we talked about, like, how, how Eldritch is... Uh, everyone says Eldritch is bad, but... Uh, he played it wrong. Uh, I'm gonna stop bragging for a bit. I got some real shit to ask. If you, if, um, if you're playing on playing the upcoming format, any decks that I'm looking at right now? Well, okay. To answer your question, Lord Bakura, yes. Although, I don't, actually, I don't know how to full on answer that question, Bakura. When you say next format, when, when's our next ban list chat? May? So I, I assume you mean, I don't know, do we call it Nationals format? Um, thanks to Jabril Twitch chat, I do not technically have my Nationals invite. Can I get a can I get a clap in the chat if thanks, Jabril? Because even though I qualified for it, guess what I didn't do, chat? Because Jabril wanted to get home. I did not actually stay and sign up for my uh, invite. So it probably just went to another person or just disappeared. So I'm not technically qualified for Nats because I didn't think there was going to be a Nats this year. So, yeah, uh, I'm probably not going to Nats because I don't have an invite, even though I technically qualified for one. I just didn't sign up. <laughs> email and ask. <laughs> and I'm going to email Konami. Konami at the regionals in South Carolina in Greenville. On this date, I got 25th. My name is Randall. Can you look me up? <laughs> oh, goodness. We're get Yeah, according... Uh, Lord Booker, I don't, I don't... I haven't confirmed this. I'm just... Someone posted in Jabril's uh, Discord a few hours ago that Nationals is going to be in, in Chicago. Um, honestly, I don't know if I would be going anyways. The, the, my next big Yu-Gi-Oh! trip chat is probably going to be Pasadena, but that's like November. So if you're asking me, am I going to play for next format, like, technically, yes, Lord Bakura, but like, I don't know, like, I just might play Dueling Book and mainly not on like stream, but mainly just these Dragon Rider tournaments because... Um, there was another regionals chat that I wanted to go to in Georgia, but have any of you guys actually, um, chat, have any of you guys actually looked at the regionals list? I was shocked. You got, have you guys seen how many regionals got like canceled? It's insane. Like I, I was thinking, okay, I'll go to this regionals in Duluth, Georgia. It's like four hours away. It got canceled. Then I was like, all right, no problem. I'll just go to the regionals in Richmond, Virginia. That's like four. I've gone to Richmond ton. Oh, that's canceled too. Like a, a ton of regionals chat actually got canceled. So fifth COVID wave. I mean, what the? Someone's email. Uh, someone's sending me a text about. Oh my god. <laughs> oh snap! You guys want to see something crazy, bro? Oh my god, I feel so bad. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess I'm somewhat doxing. Ugh. Wait, 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 I'm trolling, hold on. Here's what we do. We just take this off. Wait, go back to, hold on, go back to text. I want to show you guys this message I just got. Dude, come on, unlock. Alright. And uh, I think messages is how I pull it up. I don't be using this feature that much, chat. But I, uh, I, I totally forgot that I did this. All right, hold on. All right, let's see. It's backwards, so just was it says like, "Hello, Randall." The three Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Albaz Strike. God, it's so difficult. What's it called? Structure deck has arrived. I totally forgot, chat. I pre-ordered three structure decks at like a local OTS store and uh now nah, I don't want them. <laughs> I told this was this was like two weeks ago. It's like I pre-ordered I do like and why would I want them now? The fucking structure deck came out like last Thursday. If I didn't if I didn't get them the day of, like why would I want them now? Give away no, I didn't pay for them. I'm gonna call that store back and be like, uh, I don't want this anymore. Give them to me. Give away. No, that's just I do. I totally forgot. But like, who wants structure decks a, a week late? Chat. Like, I don't want these fucking structure decks now. Like, the whole point of the structure deck was to.
to get him for the re that that was when I was going to play Branded Eldritch chat. But um I mean Branded Eldritch is cool. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some people playing it, but Floodgate's just OP. Anyways, let's let's get back to this. Um and, and don't distract Oh, Lord Bakura, yeah, yeah. So like the thing is, Lord Bakura, since there are no regionals now, um I don't I don't know like what the I'm getting another text by the way. Really? You want to buy them? I mean, I like, is that even worth it? Because, like, I'd have to ship them. Is the Albash structure deck, like, out of stock or something like that? I assume that, like, you anyone could just get them. I'll get them off. I mean, yeah, I guess technically I can go tomorrow and just pick them up if you want me to, what's it called? If you want me to ship them. I mean, I guess they're kind of, um, oh, this is Swag Kage? Hold on. I th yeah, I, what's it called? I saw this guy on Sunday. I just didn't... I don't know. Everyone just said he was a, a tall white guy. And, like, I saw him on Sunday. He is very tall. But I didn't just want to be like, oh, tall white guy. That must be Swag Kage. Like, that would have been... But I, I really did, chat. I really wanted to, like, squa wait, squash things with Swag Kage. I, I wanted to, like, make sure that me and him were good. But I don't know. Maybe this will happen on at Pasadena. How'd you get this picture, Swag Fox? I'm just wondering. He looks dope. Can I get a Keems in the chat if uh, this is what playing Yu-Gi-Oh does to you, chat? See, when when I said stay in your lane, chat, press 1 if Cap G was actually doing him a favor. Like, I was trying to make sure he avoided this. I was I was telling him, stick the Dragon Ball, bro. Be happy. And, like, look at look at him. This is you after you start playing Yu-Gi-Oh, chat. I don't know, man. Looking kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Trip dogs them. <laughs> Trip dogs them in his latest video. Go back to not. I thought he was. Yeah, I guess he does. I thought. I don't know. I, I thought he was Dragon Ball, but yeah, I guess he does Naruto too. Anyways, um, yeah, Lord Bakura. Chances are for the next format, the Nationals format or whatever. Since I don't have any regionals that I can go to, uh, Bakura. Because honestly, after after my Eldritch tournament chat i really wanted to just get back on the horse again like i felt like i did well and i'm like bro i'm gonna top this next regional um but now that there aren't any i'll just i'll probably play like dragon rider tournaments chat so looks like i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my gambling addiction back on uh round four chat i played i think i played pk brave yeah i played pk brave i two owed him too so like look at these chat I don't know. Does this does this look like a good deck? Or are you guys gonna be like, oh cap, you didn't play against Meta? Um, I played against Flunder. Um, I too owed him also. So many bad. Okay, 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 okay. I have to get this off my chest. And don't any of you guys say I cheated. This was not intentional. However, I did recognize it, and I just kept playing against the Flunder guy, chat. Against the Flunder guy. Um. I think I started, I'm pretty sure, chat, I started to duel with like a 46 card deck. And obviously my deck is 40, right? Because two of my, si I drew two side cards in my opening hand and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and one of them was Shared Ride, which was nuts against him, right? Because I had I had Shared Ride Solemn Judgment. I'm like, oh, well, Solemn's kind of nuts against his normal summon. But he had the map and I was like, oh, shit, he got double normal. But then... I, I was like, I just activated Shared Ride, and I was like, bro, I hope he doesn't call for a deck check, because, like, who the fuck plays Shared Ride in the main? But, like, Shared Ride was just nuts, so he, 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 he went, like, he went eagling and just, like, stopped. And then next turn, I drew, like, Skill Drain, and I was like, oh, Handshake? <laughs> I drew, I think I drew Skill Drain off of the Shared Ride, I was just like, alright, Handshake. Once you get Skill Drain versus that deck, you just win. But, um, Shared Ride was, I mean, it basically was Maxi, because it flew under once the combo chat. How many times do they search in there? Like, he was, he searches, like, three times. And the problem is, you can search three times, but, like, you're not going to kill me. So, are you really going to give me three cards and, like, not even kill me? What's up, BP? How are you doing? Oh, bitch, only... Look, 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 look. I felt bad, but, like, the thing was, what was the alternative, chat? Like, if I would have... My, my concern was, if I tell a judge or if I tell him... Like, not a game loss. I was like, bro, what if they just actually be like DQ? Or what if, what if, what if they're actually like, uh, that's a match loss? I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going out like that. So I just played it out, beat them. Game two, oh my God. In game two, 
Y'all think that shit was wild? Do you guys want to know what happened in game two? This is like an... I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what happened and you guys decide like how wild it was. So he goes full combo and has... um. Uh, he goes first and he does like his, his play or whatever. And um, I think he ends on impin plus like the, the trap or whatever. Um, which like is the normal play with Flunder. So I, and he sets like two. So you know what I do, chat? I go set five, right? Set five, the Eldritch combo. And you know what he does? Twin Twister in the end phase, chat. And guess what two cards he ended up hitting in my end in, in my end phase, chat? This shit was uncanny. I, I couldn't believe this. He activated Twin Twister in the end phase and hit Conquistador Wakero. And I was like, oh my god. I, I told him right there, I was like, I want to actually hug you, bro. How insane is this? You literally hit the two cards that both float. And I had Skill Drain set too. And I told him, I was like, if you would have hit Skill Drain, you would have won. So everyone said, Skill. <laughs> everyone said, and I told him, I was like, why didn't you just wait until I activated the floodgate? But he shotgunned the Twin Twister and hit my only two floating cards. And I flipped Skill Drain instantly won the game, chat. Um, so, you cheat. It was an accidental cheat, Big Pimpin. Um, in game one versus Flunder in round five, um, I didn't, like, fully unside. And I opened with two side cards. And one of the side cards was, like, kind of insane against them. And I ended up, like, winning the game. But... You know, like, it'd be like that, chat. Like, it, again, it wasn't like I was trying to cheat, so... And then I clapped him in game two anyways. All right, so we played Flunder, um, PK. Oh, hold on. I missed the matchup. Yeah, I missed the matchup. I played against, um, Brave Plunder. I 2 0 this guy also. No, 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 I 2 one him. Yeah, I 2 one him. Because that, that, that game was, like, difficult. Um, then I played... Brave Plunder again. And that was 1-1-1. One, one, one. Now, like, like, if you look at this chat, does this look like a person who should top? Because I gotta be honest, this kind of looked like a person who should top. Like, 2-0, 2-0, 2-1, 2-0, Bro, that kind, that kind of looks like a person who should top. Like, if someone started off an event 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, what is that, 5-0, 5-1? Like, that person probably should top. Granted, I, I already had an L. And then I played against... Oh, God. This is the worst part. Played against fucking Invoked and lost. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I fucking... I can't believe I lost to this shit. Oh. I lost the... Uh, one, two. <laughs> Fake top. <laughs> you cheated like a person who tops. Uh, what was your round one? Uh, what happened in round one? Um, I accidentally... Red reboot every game against you, um, if we ever do. Oh, um, my opponent. Well, hold on. So I lost against Invoked, and then the last, the last round chat, round nine was Punk Virtual World. Um, was it branded Invoked? I don't think that's a deck BP, because that that's a, that doesn't sound that good. Because that, that sounds like two normal summons. I mean, I guess technically, like, a clay... I guess you could take away the Nadir Servant stuff. But isn't the whole point of Invoke to, to always have your normal summon be Alistair? And can you do that with a Luber in your deck? Um, yeah, how did Invoke beat you? I just explained. I, I, chat, I just explained. What happened was, in this duel, right? The, the, it, I, I clapped him game one, because I had skill drain. Um... Game two, he had a Aganoides or whatever the fuck that card is. It blew up because I, I shotgunned my Sanguine because I had Golden Land Forever set, right? And I was like, oh, if he summons Alistair, I'm just going to use Golden Land Forever on it. I knew he had two Alistair in hand, chat. His top deck was Invocation, and he had, he had Meltdown, so I couldn't negate the card. You know what I mean? So he summoned that guy. And he popped my Golden Lord, right? And I had IDP. He had I he had a double Alistair in hand plus the fusion. And I had 38. I didn't realize I was so focused about me being locked in the zombie chat. I didn't realize I could have revived one of his ghost girls. Because he had three of them, three of them in the graveyard. He asked me turn one. He asked my extravagance. He uh freaking belled 
my Sanguine, and then he belled the effect of Golden Lord. So he really like never let me get Golden Lord on the field with its effect. I didn't realize like if I would have blocked that attack, I would have won. Because my entire my entire graveyard was like set up with Eldritch cards. Um and we both would have been top decking with I guess some known cards, but I don't know. I, I threw that game chat. Like I was so focused on being when you resolve a, a an elixir chat, you don't really think about summoning for the rest of the turn. Like non Eldritch shit. So I, I could have just revived one of his guys or girls, blocked the attack, and I would have won. And speaking, I think it was Reaper who said, oh, Cap, I'll just side in Rever Boot and beat you. Uh, that actually happened in Game 3. In Game 3 chat against Punk Virtual World, uh, my opponent opened Red Reboot. I had a complete brick hand chat. This, this hand had no plays. I opened Double Shared Ride, Golden Land Forever, L Golden Lord, and Gozen Match. The hand was unplayable, chat, and he fucking had red reboot. And guess what? He took the game and punted. I, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't even understand. He punted the game, chat. I went like Gozen Mac. He, he summoned like a punk monster, and then he tried to summon like Lulu, and I was like Gozen, and he was like red reboot, and I was like, oh, and I was like, I, I guess I just scooped. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll make him play it out for fun. <laughs> And bro, he had he went through Needle Fiber, Aurorodon, Lulu, GG chat, it still didn't OTK me. And Jib watched the entire game and Jib was like, you had four different ways to, to kill him. And the reason he said he didn't go for it, because he said he was afraid of Nibiru, which I don't play. Like, cause he, he let me draw like four cards. And he was like, I was so afraid of uh, I'm so, I was so afraid of Nibiru. Um and like that's the reason he didn't go for game, which I don't play Nibiru, so he could have just killed me. Just asking to lose in time. Oof. Uh, game 3 reboot is kind of scuffed. I mean, not against Eldritch. You just red reboot your opponent. And, uh, dude, BP. If you're playing a combo deck and you can't kill someone after red rebooting them, then stop playing combo. Because, like, you don't you don't, you don't, don't know how to play combo then. Like, just go to play, go play Invoked or something. Like, if you red reboot someone, you're supposed to kill them. Especially in Virtual World with Needle Fiber. Like, there's, if you summon Needle Fiber, like, bro, you have enough damage to kill me. So I won this 2-1. And there you guys go, chat. Now, did I play against meta decks or did I not play against meta decks, chat? I played against Striker, Base, Blade, Brave Plunder twice, PK Brave. I don't know why people play this fucking deck. Um, invoked and Punk Virtual World. Like, I don't know, you, you guys decide. <laughs> you didn't play against any meta decks, Cap. Nine rounds, no meta decks. <clears throat> Sorry for interrupting, but I have a video coming tomorrow and my engine video next week. I was wondering if you would look at these thumbnails for any criticism after you list the decks you faced. Thank you very much, Dark Emperor. Uh, this this is it. Um, sorry for interrupting, but I have a video coming um, and my engine video next week. I was wondering if you could look at these thumbnails for any criticism after you list decks that you faced. Absolutely. Um, so Punk pay life points, BP, but I think you only pay life points once. I think it's just whatever the 600 card is, that one is just a Rota. But like, I mean, it doesn't matter. If you, I'm pretty sure the Punk cards go straight into Needle Fiber. And then you also get like, you get the search, um, you get the search Lulu, you get to do burn damage, you get GG on field, Lulu gives you another search. Like there's no reason that, that you shouldn't just win the game. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you pay... 600 light points uh, twice, like, you should just kill your opponent, you know, especially if they're playing a freaking trap deck. I'm playing Eldish. Like, he knew, he knew, he knows I'm playing Eldish because game three, you know what I mean? Free work, um, where the swords <laughs> of I don't know, like, I didn't play Branded, I didn't play, uh, Prank Kids, I didn't play Sword Soul, but, like, that's regionals, chat. At regionals, you don't, you don't know what you're going to play against. I never learned what I never really learned what Punk V does. It's a it's a needle fiber deck, BP. Like the the deck can 100% OTK. Like because it, it, it does more damage than like regular ver it, it can 100% OTK. Cause cause here's what it, the, the thing is. They can make like they can make level eight synchros. Like he he made um he made like Savage Dragon and Does Virtual World make Baron de Floor Chat? Because he made that too. So like they can make Baron the Floor, they can make Savage Dragon, 
Um, they can make like Herald of the Arc like that. That can that that can one hundred percent like OTK. All right, let's check the pictures out. So yeah. Anyways, this was my regional um, report chat or my regional uh, rundown, I guess. Um, and I shot a deck profile. I just don't know if I'm gonna upload it. Um, but the deck like it was insane, chat. Any guesses on the worst card in the deck on the in the deck in the deck chat? Because there was one specific card that like. I'm not going to lie, Chad. I, I kind of want to drop, but I, I don't know if there's anything better. Like, I don't know what card is better. So, I want to drop this card. And I, I played a couple of games. I tried Lost Win, and that shit was also terrible. <laughs> so, I'm like, God, stop fucking trying Lost Win. Um, <clears throat> Golden Land Forever? Close. Golden Land Forever was... What's it? Skill Drain? No, Skill, Skill Drain was one... Skill Drain was like one of the best cards in the deck. Like, stop. It never got bounced. It never... It got popped, like, once or twice. Um, Judgment? I, I didn't play Judgment um, in the main deck. Um, back when Lost Win was good. The worst card in the main deck chat was Ice Dragon's Prison. That card That card was, like... It was terrible. I, Ice Dragon's Prison was just bad. Like, there, there was not a... Maybe once in the event chat, I got kind of, like, the really good one-for-one... You guys, you guys remember, like, the old... When, it, like, Sword Soul was really good and, and Ice Dragon's Prison was insane... Cause they would they would go like oh um have uh or summon uh the Ash the ashuna or banish it from the graveyard summon like mo Yi or i don't know they do some shit where they have like the the vishuda in the graveyard and then summon mo Yi and you could like banish both of them like that that shit used to be real good but i don't know the idp was like really bad um cut wakero you play that why well, i think it's bad i just think I think IDP is really bad this format, chat. Because last format, it was a lot more mono. You know, the entire Sword Soul deck was like one type. It's just all Worm. Um, Sky Striker was like all Warrior, basically. Like you could you could banish a Ray from the graveyard and banish DPE, and it's like hell yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I get the banish your Ray and your DPE. Like that's pretty good. Um, the bird deck was like almost all just wing beasts. I mean, they had a couple other types, but you could like banish two wing beasts at like I don't know. I IDP seems really bad right now with Brave in the game. Anyways, play dimensional barrier. Nah, that's bad too. Um, cause like the problem with dimensional barrier. I mean, if you can kill someone, okay, but uh, you can't, like there's no XC deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you call fusion against branded like that's fine but i feel like mistake is probably just better even when branded gets the fusions on field like i just just floodgate them you know what i mean um three more cop oh my god that new solemn strike card is fucking insane chat that i oh my that new that new solemn strike card the one that also can summon the monster so it's like it's basically like solemn strike and idp in one card <laughs> That card's insane. It's gonna help elders like so much. Cause I'm I'm never gonna use the effect of banish unless I like absolutely have to. Or it, but like just being able to have another board breaker. Like oh I open with this floodgate. I just break your board. Like that shit's crazy. Cause you're going to use an effect. All I need to do is just flip over, goes and match, and oh Baron the floor. Cool. Uh, negate Baron the floor. Win. 